The crude, aging trailer parked in front of a decrepit warehouse looked abandoned. Several emaciated dogs wandered alert to every movement while scavenging food. Inside the trailer, Rodrigo kept his temper in check by using his large, beefy fingers to knead the stiff tendons in his neck. He turned his soulless, cold black eyes toward the seated man. Miguel, I don't understand. How did you make it to this drop location without the driver, truck, or more importantly, my cargo? Rodrigo straightened his shoulder holster to remind the man of the gun under his arm. Nervous sweat beaded on Miguel's face. We stopped to get directions, he sputtered. Toby left me in the cab. He went across to the store for directions and water. It was so hot. A few minutes later, I heard gunshots. Then police cars raced into the parking lot. Three officers got out. One was carrying a metal pipe. He ran straight for the glass doors, which exploded on impact. They entered with guns drawn. Seconds later, I heard more gunfire, so I ran from the cab. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't think it was a good idea to hang around and explain to the police. I hitched the ride, telling the driver the area I needed. He dropped me off a couple of blocks from here. I was glad I remembered the address and found you. Rodrigo cast angry glances at his two silent associates. He clenched and unclenched his fingers, getting madder by the minute. Why didn't you drive the truck? You had the keys. The engine was running. Miguel sobbed. I don't know how to drive a rig like that. You gotta believe me. He looked at the man then offered. Why don't we just go and get it? We aren't that far. Maybe half an hour. I can show you. Your cargo should be okay. It wasn't at the store parking lot. Maybe Toby is okay and waiting for me. Rodrigo sat at the computer and clicked the keyboard, searching for news. His eyes widened as he saw the breaking news story about the 18-wheeler, its cargo, and the shooting fatalities. He shook his head in disbelief at the sudden turn of events. A long moment of silence was interrupted by Rodrigo clucking his tongue in annoyance. Too late. You should have tried to leave with the cargo.